Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, they leave their signs and symbolism all around us. It's part of their vision board magic, if you will. Now Pope Francis on July 22nd has gone over to Rio de Janeiro to begin World Youth Day. Now there's a lot of symbolism about different things coming at the end of times in the Bible. You might call him an antichrist. In the Bible it does not really mention an antichrist in the book of Revelations. His name is not even mentioned at all. But it does talk about different beasts several different beasts and things known as the horns the little horn if you will the little horn of the Bible some call him the Antichrist some would call the little horn the false prophet all of that is up to you to determine the word Antichrist is not in the book of Revelations it's only used about four times in the whole Bible it is really about different beasts and such. Satan is a beast. You can call him that if you will. But they are showing here that Pope Francis is the little horn of the Bible. You can see here on Time Magazine where they made sure to show the M as his horns up here. This is not a mistake. They've done this year after year. Here is John Paul making sure he has the horns over his head. Now one of the big things was that Pope Francis, as he went into Rio, he rode in the Fiat car. Let's check out some. Now, when he first arrived, they rode in several Fiat 500s to get to where they were going. Pope Francis was in this silver one, almost white, right here. Now, I break down a lot of weird things also, and I broke down this little Fiat commercial right here, showing an Italian invasion coming. Ace, the rise of the little horn of the Bible. Now one of the things is this commercial has been on TV a lot lately. They changed it. At the very end down here I showed how it shows the little horn of the Bible. Now they stopped it. Let's watch this through here for a second. It starts off with America. Paul Revere. The British are coming! The British are coming! And here comes the Fiat 500s with one white car coming. And instead of the British coming, it's the Catholics. Wait. Uh, most people don't know this in the world, but Catholics are not Christians. Catholics go to Mary. Christians go to Jesus. Catholics will lie all day long and murder Christians. They're coming to murder the Christians now. If you open up your history books, the Catholic Church has murdered millions and millions and millions of Protestant Christians. The Catholic Church is not Christian. To be a Christian, you have to stand alone with Jesus Christ with no idols and no lies. The Catholics do not even read the Bible. They burn the Bible. The Catholic Church was the ones during the Dark Ages. Now I have to say these things because they are proving that they easily trick all of the world. Whenever I bring somebody to Christ, a Catholic shows up on my channel and tries to bring him to Mary. These people are devils on the earth. And they're coming to kill people. It's the Italians. Here come the Italians. Ready to rise up. Well, they go through here. A revolution is coming. Now right here is where they stop this commercial now. If you watch this on TV, the they will stop it. Just got bigger. Right about here. Well guess what happens down here? So much better than the tea party. This is where they stop it normally. This is what they've cut out. Good job team. Just by us doing our few things on our channel, we have made them have to change and move. They cut this whole part out of this commercial. See how he is the little horn. It is the little horn of the Bible coming. The Catholics. If you want to call him the Antichrist, 
that's fine. In the Bible, he's known as the little horn, and he has a short time, and he's going to be, bring destruction and death all around him. Now, I wanted to show this here. I look at a lot of different front pages, Yahoo, Huffington Post. They show the guy that's coming is like an old dinosaur, like Satan. Here he is. They've had this on the front all week, dino jaws. And he doesn't even have a right eye. There is no right eye. On my channel, I keep showing that he's coming to bring a net to trick all of the Christians. The gnat, exactly like the net. Now, one of the other things I wanted to show was about Ryan Braun. This made sure to happen on July 22nd also. See how he is now a liar, a serial doper, a narcissist. They busted this guy on July 22nd. Well, in the Bible, when the little horn rises up and they attack, a, a, they attack America, and America is known as the hammer of the earth, because of the Navy. Our Navy is the hammer of the earth. Ryan Braun's nickname? The Hammer. They made sure they took down the hammer on, on the 22nd, the same day a strange asteroid showed up that nobody knew about, that people were talking about, the same day the, the child was born to Prince William, the same day as the 15th of Av in the Jewish calendar. A very mysterious day, which is also known as preparing for the altar to be burned. The day the last of the wood has been prepared for the sacrifice. They're preparing for something to come. Now, this is another thing I wanted to show here too. Steven Spielberg talks about an imminent movie industry meltdown. Um, why is he saying this? He's talking about the other movies, but we already know from the Bible in Jeremiah 50 that America is hit down near Hollywood, just like Sodom and Gomorrah, that this is the day of the rapture. Why is he talking about this? So all of this stuff is in the news, and they put it there every day. Nobody knows about days, hours, or times, but things are escalating at a rapid pace all around us. And we have the Pope down there in Rio right now. Thank you very much, everybody. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to show that all of the signs are all around us and that Jesus Christ is real and that the only way to be saved is by the Lord Jesus. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.